Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I had a viewer or subscriber actually send me a file today, and then I asked her to send me the the font, and she did. She's getting, she's using the virtual segment delete key, and then it's changing her font up, and I don't really know what's going on there. I do notice that um, she's drawn two lines, and they're not hairlines. Uh, and she's trying to virtual segment delete key, which is a good option. But I thought I'd just do a video because it's a lot easier. So we're going to uh, left click, right click, and we've got a red hairline of the font. Then we need to go control K, and that'll break the word apart. And then you need to, the easiest way would be to just draw a rectangle. And I'm just trying to kind of duplicate her thickness of her lines. And you just kind of put it where you want it. And that's about right. And we're going to make a duplicate of it. Somebody sent me a file and they changed it to 0 or 0.25. So I'm going to put my settings back. So we need to make a duplicate of this because we want to use it for the two R's. And we'll just get these out of the way. And we'll make a duplicate of this one again. If you make a duplicate of the other one, it'll move it way off the page. But you need to turn this into a curve too. So we've got, this is still a text. So we're going to turn them all into curves. That's a pretty important factor. Now, you can virtually delete segment delete this but it'd be so much easier to group it all and go up to the weld and go back minus front and your font is done same thing with this and I'm going to virtual segment delete key and what I would suggest when you have two R's like that um, in this case isn't too bad but to get them perfectly identical I would do one and then just replace that R. So we're going to virtually segment delete this one just to kind of show in case she still wants to do that. I'm going to, I don't need the outside. I don't need the inside. And I don't need these four lines that are creating it. This will be, this will work exactly the same with the exception of the weld tool. These are all separate parts, so you need to go control G or combine them. Now, what I would do, like I said, I would turn this one into yellow, and I'd make a duplicate of this one, and I would hold down my control button. Well, maybe it doesn't work. And I'd put it right there. Now, you've got that one selected. I'd move my nudge factor on five inches. Hit your yellow and delete it, and move this one back over five inches. And I can see I'm I did not group it. So let's um, let's make sure this time I did. Let's combine it this time. Well, it is grouped. It should stay together. Yep. I don't know what I did wrong. Control D. Oh, you know what I did. I I controlled tried to move it. Now let's move it out of the way. Because I backed up, I put it back on 0.01. We'll move the, the that one out of the way. Let's zoom in here. Let's delete the yellow one completely and move this one back. This way, both your R's are identical. I truly help, hope that helped her. Maybe you learned a little bit, and thank you for watching.